5am on the Firth of Thames. 24 hours of racing ahead. I didn't know it'd nearly be 30. Adventure races come with little quirks like rope ladder transitions. Well, you'd think that sitting down on your ass for the first two hours of a 24 hour race would be nice. It's not really. A strategic uh, cleaning away of salt water and then back onto our bums onto the new Hauraki rail trail. I think that's a flat bit done. Five hours uphill now. What's more, didn't get off once. But the next four hours was all feet, all the way up. Woo! Nine hours ago, Miranda, half past two, Smoko. But after every up, there's a downer. He's um, fallen behind slightly. Yeah. Let's see how he goes for the next, for a little while. Might have to. Here he comes. But after stumbling upon some Coromandel gold, I was ready for all the other ups and downs the race threw at us. <laughs> then as night fell, the stakes were raised, along with bits of skin. Preventative, not a sign of weakness, it's just a preventative measure. All in preparation for a bush-bashing half-marathon through the ranges. Should be there, by Bricky. <laughs> But the forest had a surprise even the organisers hadn't planned for. Oh, oh, ah, ah. Have you got stung? Yeah, we're just uh, holding that, fire. We've just retreated back here. There's a wasp nest that's been disturbed up there. It's not uh, pleasant. The old bear has just been uh, stung about five, six times. Then our cunning plan to sprint through them ended up with more stings and a torn calf muscle for yours truly. It turned an eight hour trek into an 11 hour one. Then a final bike to the finish line, and it was over. Oh, and did I mention we're not the last? There's three teams still out there. <laughs>